Well, it was a disappointing game last night. Texas A&M beat Alabama 65-56. to We had about a 10-point lead in the second half, I believe. and uh, They were able to tie it up at a point, and then uh, they actually got ahead by six, and that just kind of put the nail in the coffin. Even though there was about four minutes to go, it, it really just ended the game. Because uh, going down six, you know, you kind of got the feeling that uh, Alabama ain't coming back. Now, I promise I'll get back to the video in just five seconds, but make sure you follow me on Instagram at Primetide Sports. I'll post a lot of Alabama football and basketball highlight clips. And if you look at the stats, uh, both teams kind of shot the same, but uh, we just gave them a lot of free throws, and they made almost all of them. And uh, that was the difference. Anyway, it just really sucks to lose three games in a row. It's the first time we've done that this season. Um, last season, we lost five in a row uh, to end the season. And a lot of fans are fed up with this, and they're calling for Avery Johnson to be fired. I think we need to wait to the end of the season, see how we end up, and then we can start thinking about getting a new coach. Now, looking at the upcoming schedule, we have Vanderbilt on Saturday, which hopefully will be a win. Uh, they're not very good, obviously. Looking at the remaining five games, I think we can go two and three. I think that's, I don't think we're going three and two. I think we're going two and three. Which games we win, I don't know. Um, I don't think two and three is going to be good enough to get us in the tournament. So it looks like we're going to have to pull off something like we did last year and uh, win a couple games in the SEC tournament to kind of boost us into the NCAA tournament. So hopefully we can beat Vanderbilt on Saturday and uh, get an important win. And to end this video, I'll leave you off with a good Alabama basketball highlight. Good effort. Sexton knocks it away. Behind the back, wrap around and close.